Assalamu alaikum and greetings of peace. My name is Rashid Umar. I was born in Salt River, matriculated from Salt River High, got married, moved out of the area, and I'm delighted to be back living in Salt River at the moment. I want to wish all of the communities Eid Mubarak. May you have a happy and a blessed Eid. I would also like to particularly use this opportunity to commend the Salt River Heritage Society for this wonderful initiative of making the takbir on our stoops. I hope that our community will fulfill the protocols of the, of the lockdown whilst we're doing this. This initiative has uh, spread like wildfire um, throughout uh, the Western Cape and throughout the country. Um, I will hope that we can share it as well with all of the residents, whether they are Muslim, Christian, Hindu, uh, Jewish, people of faith and of non-faith, and that we can use this moment um, to create a, a moment of hope. We are celebrating the triumph of the human spirit against all odds. Once again, I wish you a happy and a blessed Eid Mubarak. My name is Reverend Barry Burr. I am the chairperson of Cape Town Interfaith Initiative, and it is my great pleasure to bring warm greetings of joy to the Muslim community as we celebrate Eid at this time. Sacred practice, particularly now in the time of pandemic, is something that really feeds and holds us all together in community. And you as a community have shown us the importance and the beauty of continued commitment to sacred practice during the time of Ramadan. It cannot have been an easy time for many of you. There have been great challenges and yet you have held to this commitment to your sacred practices with such loyalty and grace. And we truly honor you for that. And now as your Eid celebration comes about, we wish you light, we wish you love, we wish you beautiful celebrations with your loved ones. We pray that you will be able to hold them close in your hearts, even if it is not always possible to hold them close in your arms. We wish you health, we wish you happiness, and we pray that your paths will continue to be lit by the great Creator, the hand of the Almighty, who guides and protects all of us at this time and always. Eid Mubarak, and thank you for sharing your beautiful time with us. Beloved, assalamu alaikum. I pray that all the deeds of piety and of devotion and acts of compassion observed in this holy month of Ramadan will flower into a country that is celebrated for its love and compassion, a city that is truly a mother to all its citizens and the children of our various suburbs and townships. And I pray that you will have a glorious and a most happy Eid Mubarak. And I wish you this on behalf of our cathedral, and also of our Archbishop, Tabo Mahoba. Shukran. Yeah. I'm most happy to give this message on the occasion of the dawning of Eid and as this month of fasting comes to an end, a month of uh, self-purification of the individual and the community. And um, this must have been an extremely difficult for our fast for everybody because you would have missed the communal prayer at the mosques, you would have missed uh, the iftars which you celebrate with neighbors and friends. Uh, and this Eid will also be a difficult one. It would mean less hugging of friends and families, visiting people, and also visiting the graves of your loved ones. But the human spirit is actually a remarkable spirit. It is always inventive and it is regenerative. And this example of the Salt River Heritage Community is um, a wonderful example of our inventiveness and I wish you all well as you step out on your stoops and recite the takbir. Uh, the last two months have taught us that the um, material possessions that we accumulate mean nothing and that it is the basic needs of life and the love of our friends and our families that actually count much more than this. And so as we mourn the passing of an old world, we look for the dawn of a new world in which we find 
new ways of doing things in these strange circumstances. For those of us whose inner spiritual lives have always been enriched by the beauty of the sound of the call to prayer, by the stirring witness of people sharing the commitment to the poor and solidarity for justice that has been such a great part and is such a great part of the Muslim community's contribution to our life together. I wish on this day to pray and wish everyone Eid Mubarak. Even though it is a time of pandemic, maybe because it's a time of pandemic, and we celebrate these great days differently, it is also a time when we are forced to recognize the beauty and strength of our spiritual traditions, the hope that emerges from deep reflection and prayer, and the joy that we find not based on circumstances, but on the beauty of that which we carry in our hearts. So I wish you Eid Mubarak. Pope Francis in his um, message to the Muslim community worldwide has called for this as a, to be a time of deep spiritual healing and of greater commitment to the poor, especially in the face of the injustices that have been so glaringly revealed by the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So as we celebrate, and as we rejoice in each other's strength, which comes from the spirit deep within us, may this be a time of rich blessing for all of you, for your families, and may it spill over as it always does into a community that is in your debt. God bless.